Hello dear students, I am Dr. Akas, Assistant Professor, Department of Agriculture, School of Agriculture, Sanskrit University. Today we are discuss on the important topics, plant propagations. Everybody know what the importance of plant propagation in our agriculture sectors. So we are discuss on the important topics, plant propagations. The art and science of multiplying plants by sexual or asexual means called plant propagation. In the general terms, it refers to the process of increasing the number of plants of a particular species or cultivar. In the simply defined, the multiplications of plant is called plant propagations. The type of plant propagations, there are two types of plant propagation, namely first one is sexual propagation and the second one is asexual propagations. So let's we start discuss on the sexual propagation. Propagations or multiplication of plants by seed is known as sexual propagation. Seeds are formed as a result of successful fertilization and combination of parental gametes. It is an old and easy method and is widely used for propagation of crops like ornamental, annuals, vegetables, medicinals and fruits, plants such as papaya. Most of the Horticultural crops like vegetables, you know, vegetables like tomato, brinjal, chili, most of the cucurbits, and a uh, crucious vegetable like cauliflower, cabbage, null called broccoli, and fruits is a papaya, falsa is a propagated by sexual propagation methods. In this methods, we are use the seeds. And this first thing is what is seed? Seed is a mature ovules, and in this methods, they produce the variations. Plant propagations by seeds. The definitions denoted by Hartman and Castors propagation by seed is the major method by which plants reproduce in nature and one of the most efficient and widely used propagation method for cultivation of crops. Let's we see asexual propagation. It is also called vegetative propagation. The vegetative parts of a plant like leaf, stem, root, or their modified form are used for propagation. Most of the horticulture crops are commercially propagated by vegetative or asexual propagation methods of propagation. Just we simply define we are using the plant parts like leaf, root, stems for propagations. This is called asexual propagation. The types of asexual propagation is cutting, grafting, budding, layering and newly advanced method of asexual propagation is micro propagations. Let's we discuss on the depth asexual propagation methods. First one is cuttings. Cuttings is a detailed vegetative part of a plant which on the separation and planting is able to regenerate the missing parts and develop itself into a new plant. It is an expensive and quick method of propagation. A large number of uniform plants can be produced using few parent plants. It is done not involves specialized skill. 
the method is named after the part of plant used for cutting stem roots and leaves in this we are using the plant parts like leaf stem roots for cuttings the types of cuttings the first one is root cuttings where we are using the root parts for propagations the pieces of roots used in propagating a plant in general since root cutting are pieces of root cut from the plant that you want to propagate in some tuberous and rhizome crops you know students there uh, we are multiplying the most of the tuberous and rhizome crops like uh, convolvulus families fruit uh, vegetables and next one is leaf cuttings plant with thick fleshy leaves having buds are propagated by leaf cutting vegetative buds are present in the notches of leaves margin the famous example of leaf cutting is bryophyllums another very important ornamental plants since area you can see here this card snake plants another examples like bignonia and third one is stem cutting based on the age and maturity of shoots detached for vegetative propagation stem cutting is a fourth type this is a very common and important methods used in a plant propagation methods where we are using the stems of from the mother plants there are the four type of the stem cutting methods first one is a hardwood cuttings semi hardwood cuttings softwood cuttings and the herbaceous cuttings hardwood cuttings there we are use the mature stems you can see here in a semi hardwood cuttings we are using the semi hardwood stems for multipli multiplication of plants in a softwood cuttings there we are using the softwood stems and herbaceous cuttings we are just like use the herbaceous or the terminal stem of the plants for the multiplication okay next we are discuss on the our <coughs> second asexual propagation methods there we are using the called graftings the method of joining parts of two plants in a manner that they form a unit and function as one plant is known as graftings and uh, simply we can define or uh, classify the grafting in a two way first one is attached graftings and the second one is a detached graftings attached graftings in a grafting portion there are the three important terms from the part of the propagation the first one is a mother plants and the second one is a sign and the last one is a root stalks in a attached grafting <coughs> the mother plants and root stalks have also consist the root system they are detached after completion a phase and a detached graftings we are select the sign from the mother plants and the grafted on a root stalks you know the root stalks it means consist the root systems and the sign come from the mother plants and the mother plants is a materials for genetics material for the propagation of plants and the third importance methods is a layering layering involved including the roots on an intact or near nearly nearly so plants 
layering is an important method and the first one is in a method of air layering uh, method of layering the first one is a air layering interrupt cambium and cover bound with moistened medium the air layering is a very famous commonly used in a lychee crops lychee fruit crops and lychee sinensis another we are using in a ficus elastica and the lot of the example in a we are using the air layering methods like a limes we are using sometimes air layering methods another next method in a air layering simple layerings low hanging branches covered with the soil with or without bonding many sirs there we are using the simple layering methods for example in a barbatas cherry and the third one is a tip layering tip of the plants at certain time of year red tail conditions develop roots where they touch the soil the this method is followed in blackberry and raspberry etc and the last one is mound layering the soil mound to be cover base of especially pruned young tree also refers to as stool layerings and the, this method is followed in a the production of apple root stalks and the commercially mound layering is used in a propagation or multiplication of guava tree and this is a figure of air layerings this is a very famous method of layering is air layerings okay you can see there we are <coughs> remove the upper cambiums and use the sphagnum moss and use the rooting medias rooting medias just like uh, hormones iva indole butyric acid is a rooting hormones and they are dip the sphagnum moss in a water with the <coughs> with the rooting medias and they are bound on this sides and enhance the root system and the cut after the rootings they are cut from the sides and propagated or transplanted in a fields and the space uh, and this is a another important point from the plant propagations specialized structures the modified stems and modified roots is a use for the plant multiplications the modified stems is a bulb corm tuber rhizome pseudo bulbs and runners is a use for multiplication of the plants and the second one is a modified roots like tuberous roots is a use for the multiplications of the crops and the propagation by the specialized structures the important species and the structures like the tulip onion and the easter lilies we are we are using the bulbs for the multiplications potato jerusalem artichokes in a case we are using the tubers okay for you can see here tubers is a modified stems modified stems where we are using the for multiplications lilies of the berries we are using the rhizomes for multiplications gladiolus crocus use the corm and the strawberry the commercially propagated by the runners dahlia sweet potatoes is a propagated by tuberous root another last important method in asexual propagation this is micro propagations micro propagation is the advanced technologies yeah vital technologies in a propagation methods uh, for the multiplication of the plants 
some uh, micro propagation is called tissue cultures or mass propagation or in vitro culture or cloning this is method uh, working in a controlled conditions in vitro condition in a lab conditions the simply define what is the micro propagations the multiplications of the plant plant the multiplication of the plants by the tiny parts of the plants like pollen anther cells tissues for multiplication for using the multiplication they called micro propagation micro propagation is a rapid continuous and efficient specialized equipment facility and technically trained person are required a step can be taken to be obtain and maintain the certified pest free plants cause effective is a large number of given clone are produced widely used for orchids fern many interior foliage plants root stock etc in a micro propagation the plant is a produce free from microorganism large number in quantities and the <coughs> importance this is a true to types and the, in this methods we are using organ culture marine stem cultures anther culture and the lot of the methods used in a micro propagations for the multiplication of the plants this is a simple diagram of the micro propagation there just we isolate the cell and excite the pieces of leaves for multiplication of the plants thank you